In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the radiator fan clutch on your Toyota Tacoma. This will be located in the front of the engine bay. Let's get started. Using a pair of clip pliers, we're going to remove the nine clips for the radiator cover. There should be one here. Ours was stolen. Remove the radiator cover. Using a 12 millimeter wrench, we're gonna remove the four nuts for the fan clutch. I'm gonna use a flat blade screwdriver to hold the nut I'm going to go around and break all of them free. Remove the four nuts. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove the two bolts for the radiator fan shroud. There's one more on the passenger side under the radiator hose. Remove the overflow hose from the radiator. Lift slightly up on the shroud and push it back. Remove the fan blade and clutch assembly. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the four nuts for the fan blade. Remove the fan blade. Install the fan blade onto the new clutch. Install the nuts. Snug them down. Torque the fan blade nuts to seven foot-pounds. Install the radiator fan clutch assembly.
With our fan assembly installed, we're going to pull the shroud forward. We're going to install the bolts on either side by hand just to keep the shroud away from the fan. Snug the fan shroud bolts down. We're going to get the nuts started for the fan. Go around and snug down all of the nuts for the fan clutch. Torque the fan bolts to 18 foot-pounds. If you can't get a torque wrench on them, do the best you can. I'm using a flat blade screwdriver to hold it still while I torque them. Install the radiator cover, install the clips, Install the coolant overflow hose onto the radiator and you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.